Hey, what's up? This is Norris. I'm here with another tutorial video. Today, we're going to learn how to make your own beanie. Let's get started. Okay, so first you need a piece of paper that's 20 by 20 inches at least. So, once you get that, you want to fold it in half like this. And then one more time this way. And then you'll end up with this. So the average circumference for a guy is 22 inches. So 22 inches divided by four will give you five and a half inches. So you want to measure out five and a half for the width. And because I want mine a little slouchy, it's going to be nine inches tall. So I'm going to measure up nine inches. Grab a pin, pin everything in place. And we're going to cut it out. So once you have it all cut out, you want to take your ruler and you want to measure in at the top, 5 eighths of an inch, and put a little dot. And then come down to 3 inches on the side and put a dot on the edge. So take your ruler and connect those together. And you want to cut this piece off. Okay, so on this side, you want to measure in three inches. And put a dot right there on the edge. And then fold it in half and put a nice little crease in the middle. And we're going to put a dot right there where that crease is. And you want to take a curved ruler and touch the dots with the curve and just bring that all the way up. Just like this. It should give you this shape. And you want to cut that out. So once you do that, you can unpin it and open it up. So once you open it up, it's going to look just like this. The bottom piece right here is going to be cut on the fold. So grab your fabric and place it on top and cut it out. Okay, once you get your fabric, you want to fold it in half and place your pattern piece on the fold. Take your pattern weights and hold it down and we're going to cut this out. So once you cut your pattern out, your fabric, your fabric should look just like this. And we're going to pin our four darts. So you just want to take your dart, bring both sides together, and just pin through. Just like this. You want to pin your other two darts the same as that way. Remember, the middle is not a dart. These are your darts on the outside. Okay, so you want to make sure your fabric is on the edge of your presser foot. And you want to backstitch at the beginning and at the end. You want to sew all four darts the same exact way. Okay, so once you have all your darts sewn, you want to press them open. And with right sides facing, you want to fold your fabric like this. So once you have it folded, you want to stitch using a half inch seam allowance all the way around. 
And once you get here, you want to leave about a two inch opening so you can turn your fabric right side out and then start all the way and finish here on the other side. Okay, using the half inch seam allowance, we're going to back to the beginning and the end. Okay, so once you get here, you want to back stitch, cut your threads, and you want to move down about two inches, and continue. Back stitch at the end. Okay, so once we have stitched all the way around, except for the two inches that we kept open, we want to turn it right side out. Okay, the very last thing to do is to egg stitch that little opening we have right here. Just go to the machine and just stitch close to the edge to close it out. And then the side that has that opening, it goes to the inside. So once you tuck it on the inside, you want to give it a really good press. And the last thing you have to do is to take your beanie and tack down the inside on the seam. Give it a good little X through all thicknesses just to keep the underneath part attached to the top. All right, there you have it, your very own beanie. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.